So hello everyone I am Arna Rawat and today we will be learning about subject verb agreement Before beginning let me tell you that it is very important topic in grammar as it depends on how we use the verb it contains several rules that need to be memorized to speak correct english So what is subject verb agreement subject verb agreement means that our subject and verb binding must match or agree in number and person that means if our subject is singular then we must use a singular verb similarly if the subject is plural we must use plural verb this is what subject verb agreement is mostly based on like the dog barks at strangers her dog is a singular subject so we used barks that is a singular verb with it but when i say the dogs bark at strangers her dogs becomes plural and the verb barks changes to bark that is the plural form of it this is the first rule of subject verb agreement like it we have total nine rules in number so let's begin with the second one Second rule says that a singular verb is used when two nouns or adjectives suggest one idea or refer to the same person or thing. Like bread and butter is my daily breakfast. Yahan bread aur butter. Bhale hi these are two words but wo ek singular dish ko hi represent karte hain. So we have used a singular verb is with it. Similarly if we look into the fourth sentence in England my favorite meal was fish and chips in England fish and chips is a singular dish so we have used singular verb was with it now the owner and manager of the store is very kind here owner and manager may refer to the single person but how to identify if it is two or single one i may tell you if we use articles with both the words like if i say the owner and the manager then i mean to say these are two people but in this sentence the owner and manager here i have not used the article with word manager so it is a singular word the red and green umbrella is not mine here red and green are two colors but single umbrella can contain two so we have used is with it Similarly if i say the red and the green umbrella then i refer to two different umbrellas now rule 3 some pronouns are always singular and indefinite sorry for the wrong spelling over here it has to be pronounced okay so some pronouns are always singular and indefinite with these pronouns the subject always take singular verbs so what does it mean is we have a set of pronouns known as indefinite pronouns like anybody anyone anything similarly then these are always singular and take singular verbs like anyone can be my friend or uh, sorry can is neutral one it can be both singular and plural like anyone has a red pen her anyone refers to a singular subject similarly nobody no one nothing someone everyone so many people consider everyone everybody and everything is plural but that's not correct it is a singular subject so we must use a singular verb with it similarly each i may say each girl each student each country this is always singular and either neither there is a rule if either and neither are used without or and nor respectively that it must be singular like either of the boys has not completed the homework neither of the students is selected for the quiz competition see here is the exception either and neither are singular if they are not used with or and nor if one subject is singular and other is plural and the words are connected by words like either or neither nor not only but also use the verb form of the subject that is nearest the verb let me explain it to you normally 
इन दिस सेंटेंस वो कहते हैं इफ देर आर टू सब्जेक्ट और टू वर्ड यूज इन द सब्जेक्ट और वो किससे कनेक्टेड है ईदर और नीदर नॉर नॉट ओनली बट ऑल्सो ये सारे कंजंक्शन है वी डिस्कस दम इन द लास्ट वीडियो सो द वर्ब और सॉरी द सब्जेक्ट नियरेस्ट टू द वर्ब लाइक हेयर इन द सेंटेंस ईदर बियर्स और लाइन हेयर द वर्ड बियर एंड लाइन सॉरी बियर्स एंड लाइन इज ज्वाइंड बाय द प्रोनाउन ईदर और सो वी लुक इन टू द नियरेस्ट सब्जेक्ट टू द वर्ब दैट इज लाइन so we have said either bears or lion has escaped from the zoo but if i would have said either lion or bears then i would have used have so iske andar ek hi rule hai if the subject is near to the verb we use that as our main subject and consider it with the verb if it is singular use the singular verb if it is plural use the plural verb now not only you but also your parents have to attend the party or sorry the meeting here parents is plural it is you joined with not only but also so we look into the nearest subject to the verb that is the parents so have we have used have now rule number 4 when two subjects are joined with along with as well as or with verb agrees with the subject mentioned first so it is just like the opposite of the previous exceptional rule agar hamare do subjects ya do word jo ek subject ki tarah humne use kare hain wo along with as well as or with se humne join kare like the father as well as the sons so we we'll look into the first subject mention like the father as well as sons is industrious Although sons is nearer to the verb, but we mention the first subject that is father. So is Jane along with the sisters was there at the party. The students as well as the teacher enjoyed the trip. Although the third sentence doesn't like we don't need to use anything over there. It's the past form, but still here students is plural, so we must have used plural verb. Now the rule number five. collective nouns we uh, yeah we have discussed them collective nouns are those nouns that refer to a full group of nouns like team of players this is regarded as singular subject as we are talking about the single commodity of people or things animals like the team of cricket players is ready to the field here team is collective noun similarly this family a pack of wolves is approaching towards the herd of cattle that is grazing in the field her pack and cattle or oh sorry herd are now rule number 5 collective nouns what are collective nouns we have discussed them in the nouns video these are the words used to refer to the group of something like the team family herd here these are considered as singular subjects so they must take up singular word like the team of cricket players is ready to field the team team is a collective noun so we have used singular verb with it is similarly this family always eats together a pack of wolves is approaching towards the herd of cattle that is grazing in the field now the rule number 6 a singular verb is required when the plural noun picks noun the picks some specific oh sorry depict sorry a singular verb is required when the plural noun depicts Sp some specific quantity or amount considered as a single whole unit like 3 kilometers is a long distance to walk here 3 kilometers is referring to some specific quantity so we have used singular verb with it as it is considered as a single unit similarly 500 rupees is donated 50 kgs is transported to the next village in these words 
they are specifying or they are talking about a specific quantity so they are considered as single unit and we have used a single or verb with it. you can easily say we talk about um a indefinite sorry quantifier adjectives then these are used so now rule number 7 When a sentence begins with here or there, the word must agree the, with the real subject. Like, here comes the teacher. Here, the subject is used at the end of the sentence. Then also, the word must agree to the subject. Like, here comes. Okay, there are some candies. There is a swimming pool. Here are the documents. I hope it is very easy. Now. rule number 8 yeah whenever we use the verb or oh sorry the word a plenty of for uncountable nouns we use singular verbs but whenever we use a lot of plenty of with a countable noun we use plural verb like a lot of money is wasted on this project here money is an uncountable noun and a lot of is used with it so we have used a singular verb a lot of students are taking part in co curricular activities her students is a countable noun and a lot of is used with it so we have used a plural subject or oh, sorry the plural verb so iska ek bahut easy way hai agar uncountable noun hai then singular verb countable noun hai to plural verb now rule now nouns like pants trousers scissors shorts etc use plural verbs but when we refer to a pair of shoes a pair of trousers we use singular verb with them like your sh- oh sorry your shoes are glossy your pair of shoes is glossy here when shoes is used we have used plural verb but when we have said your pair of shoes then we have used singular verb with it these scissors are quite sharp this pair of scissors is quite sharp now here's the exercise all the rules are finished i am willing to add the answers of all these exercises in the description and also in the pinned comment box so you can first attempt the questions and then check your answers over there Before I end this video I want to notify you that now I am on blogger I have written two blogs already I will add the link to my first blog in the description you can have a look at it thank you have a good day ahead